Hi, my name is Jeff O'Brien. I am now the Eastern Sales Director for Oberon, and I was formerly the owner of Mount Wireless, which at Mount Wireless we designed the M-Frame, which is actually a universal mounting platform for access points and antennas in uh, industrial applications. Um, this M-Frame is now part of the Oberon product line as their option for these industrial applications in manufacturing and distribution environments. Um, I'm here today to show you the M-Frame and show you the antenna attachments and the mounting options just to kind of give you an idea uh, how these fit each and every environment. Um, first, we have the M-Frame. This is the base unit. This is the 1312 is the uh, part number that we use for it. Um, it is made of a high-grade, non-corrosive aluminum. Um, it is actually uh, has a nice brushed finish which fits with most industrial applications and environments, um, blends in nicely. Um, all these holes on the face actually do have a purpose. Um, these middle holes here are actually for the, uh, is a universal pattern for multiple manufacturers of access points. Um, be it your Cisco, your Aruba, your Meraki, your Aerohive, um, all will fit these various holes here. This is where the mounting bracket goes. Um, these outer holes around the edges are actually for the different mounting options that are available. And I'll go through those, each and every one, um, in a minute. Um, on this bottom side of the, of the M frame itself, this is the what we call or refer to as the mounting rail. The mounting rail is for the individual antenna attachments because you can put a variety of antennas, be it omnidirectional or directional antennas, um, to the M-frame itself. Um, so with all this together, this makes a universal platform to uh, mount the access points and their antennas and the associated accessories. Um, and it basically provides a stable, secure platform that basically forces the access point antennas to operate um, the way they were specified. Um, so, what we can do is um, I'll go through the different parts of the M-frame um, in the base and how they um, work with each attachment and each mounting option. Um, as I said, these middle holes are for the access point itself. Um, these middle slots here are actually for cable pass-through um, to get to the access point um, from the back side. And um, the mounting rail here, and I'll just use this as an example, is where we mount antenna attachments, either to mount them vertically or this mounts horizontally in the ceiling, such as that. Um, and then these holes down the side are for um, cable support, um, for tie wrapping cables down. Um, these larger holes here are for universal beam clamp or for the concrete wall anchors um, to fit. Um, and also for a threaded rod option. Um, and then these small slots here at the top and bottom are actually for um, adjustable column straps, which I'll show you in just a second. So. Um, you'll notice the M-frame has bends on both ends. This is both for rigidity um, and also to provide cable path behind the M-frame. Um, so when you have an access point on the face, you run your cables from underneath or behind them and then you can actually, if this is up against a wall, then you can actually run your cables beneath it, I mean, or behind it. So, um, these indentions here are for helping rest up against a column, so it'll actually bite into a column and so it won't slide down when you mount it up against that. Um, and so every M-frame comes with an instruction set that comes with alphanumeric labels. Um, on the M-frame itself, there is a section on each side between the two bolt holes that you can put up to a 10 character um, alphanumeric um, access point ID number. Um, and then we also have tie wraps in here as well as we have uh, the screws to mount the, the, the bracket to the, the access point bracket to the M frame itself. Um, Alright, so I'll start with the antenna attachments. Um, this is called the AM1 antenna uh, mount 1. 
Um, this is for omnidirectional antennas such as coffee can antennas, um, dual band antennas. Um, and the way this works is the antenna mounts to these holes and it hangs down um, so that it's actually perpendicular to the floor. Now how this works with the M-frame is this would typically be mounted up in the ceiling in a horizontal fashion and this attachment attaches to the mounting rail so you have your antenna hanging down perpendicular to the floor. Now this can also be mounted vertically up against a column or a wall and then your omnidirectional antenna mount will actually screw to the front and so it'll hold the antenna again perpendicular to the floor as it's meant to be. Um, the next antenna attachment is these are actually the AM2, but these are um, for single band pipe antennas, the 8 inch pipe antennas. Um, don't use them a whole lot anymore, but um, we do have some installations where it might call for that. So the way these operate or are attached is, again, if the, the M frame is mounted horizontally up in the ceiling, you would attach an arm to this side and this side, so you'd have both arms, and there would be pipe antennas attached to these holes. Um, typically, you'd see two 2.4 gigahertz pipe antennas on one side, and two 5 gigahertz antennas on the other side. Um, as I said, you won't see a lot of call out for these, but they are available just in case. The next antenna option is the directional antenna option. This is called the AM3 and this is actually an articulating um, antenna mount for directional antenna, dual banded directional antennas. Um, so it gives you full pan and tilt to actually aim the antenna um, as specified on site. So the way this works is again you have your attachment piece here that hooks to the M frame either horizontally or it will actually hook on the front, I'm sorry, um, vertically. Um, and this antenna attachment has a double knuckle articulating arm that when loosened up will actually give you full pan and tilt just as, just as is, is needed. Um, and then it's got A locking handle on it so you can tighten it down. These are rubber coated aluminum balls so when you lock this down it actually makes an impression on the rubber and it will lock in place um, so you don't have to worry about that coming loose. Um, again it's made for multiple different types of antennas, uh, patch antennas. Uh, we've got different mounting holes for different types of antennas from um, different manufacturers as well as the center hole for cables and things like that. Um, and then our last attachment is not an antenna attachment, but what it actually does is it's called a right angle bracket, RAB. And the way this works is when you want to actually mount your access point horizontally and mount it up against a vertical surface. So again, you have mounting holes right here. It attaches with four screws and then you have basically mounted to a wall or to a column and you still have a horizontal orientation of your access point. Typically you're going to do this if you have an access point that has internal antennas um, or is using the short dipoles that, uh, that come with it. Um, and then back to the base end frame itself, um, you would use just the base end frame without any attachments, again if you have an, an access point with internal antennas or an access point that uses the short stubbies or dipole um, dual band antennas. So um, that's the M frame, that's the antenna attachments, and now comes the mounting options. We actually have five mounting options available for the M frame, um, and I'll go through each and every one of them. Um, the first one is actually the ACS, which is for adjustable column straps. These are 48 inch. Um, UV rated column straps uh, or tie wraps that actually fit through 
the slots on the top and on the bottom on the face of the M frame. You thread them through here just like you would a belt and then the back side would actually come around the column itself. These 48 inch straps would fit up to a 14 inch diameter column. Um, can be a steel column, cement column, doesn't matter. Um, there's 150 pound tensile strength on these straps so it's got plenty of, um, plenty of strength. Um, the next antenna mounting option, I mean, or the next mounting option available is the con concrete wall anchors, CWA. Um, these consist of two sets or a pair of two and a half inch lags, um, which would actually go into a concrete wall, um, a washer on the front. And then this piece here is actually a spacer. The reason we have this spacer is, again, if you notice, with the bend in the frame, that leaves a gap behind. And when you mount this on a wall, you would use these two top holes, mount it vertically up against the wall, and then this spacer would actually go between the frame and the wall so that you don't actually bend the frame itself and you maintain that cavity behind the M frame for your cable path. So there's two of these that come with this kit. Um, so you, it'll make it strong and secure up against the wall. All right, the next option is the quad cable hanger or QCH. And the way this fits, it actually has a four lead toggle this is it. This is called a quad toggle. It actually fits to the four corners using these outside holes here of the M frame itself. And it will actually hang, and this is for suspending this from the ceiling structure um, when the ceiling structure is too high to actually mount it up there. So it comes with a 10 meter lead, so you basically have about 32 feet that you can drop this from the ceiling structure itself. Um, and then it comes with a locking mechanism um, that is releasable so that you can actually adjust the height as you go or if you have to come back later and fix it, um, you can unlock it re or release it and adjust it as you need to. Um, this is a toolless way of mounting the M-frame. You basically um, just have to loop it around the ceiling structure itself, drop it down, and, uh, and connect it without having to penetrate the ceiling at all. Um, the next option is the threaded rod kit. Now, um, this is for standard 3-8 threaded rod. Um, we do not provide the threaded rod. That typically comes with each installation. They come in 10-foot sticks, but this gives you more of a fixed suspension from the ceiling. And so you would actually have threaded rod, the actual rod coming down from the ceiling and coming through two of the holes. And we have um, fender washers that go on the, the top and the bottom. Um, that's to keep it stable and flat. Um, and then you've got these sliding lock washers that would actually slide onto the threaded rod and lock into place um, from the top. It's a very simple way of mounting these to the ceiling. And then you've got lock washers that would actually go on the bottom side. Um, again, this is, this is called the TRD. Um, and now the most popular option is actually the universal beam clamps. These beam clamps, um, I designed these along with the M frame. They're designed to be the most universal beam clamp that I could come up with because it would not only fit straight flanges up to an inch thick, but it'll also fit what we call purlins, which are angle flanges. Could be a Z purlin, a C purlin. Um, that's what this area here will actually allow you to um, put the beam clamp on all those different types of flanges. Um, it's all aluminum, so it's non-corrosive again. And it's also um, got 150 pounds tensile strength on each clamp. So you've got two clamps per um, that come in each kit. These clamps would attach to the M frame through one of the four holes here. In typical fashion, it would the beam clamp would attach to the hole 
and there'd be one here, and then there would be one here. Um, and then this would slide on the flange itself. So um, very secure, very stable. Um, and uh, that's about it for the actual mounting options and for the antenna attachments. Um, these designs truly came from the field as I spent a lot of time as an, as an installer and um, I had a cabling company that started as two men in a truck, spent a lot of time mounting wireless and um, so I felt like at the time there was really no directions and no specifications for how to mount these and so what I felt like we came up with was a solid design that is universal it makes for a consistent installation from site to site, from location to location, um, basically establishing a standard that is non-existent. So that is it for the in-frame.